Hello and welcome to the video. In this video we'll be looking at sponding valves for pressure fermentations. If you are new to this then you may wonder what a sponding valve actually is and why you need it. So let's get that out of the way first. A sponding valve is a handy device that simply lets you dial in the pressure level desired. Once this pressure level is reached then all additional pressure will be released by the system. So essentially the sponding valve allows you to regulate pressure coming out of a vessel when used in home brewing. This makes it suitable for fermentation under pressure and pressurised closed loop transfer. The sponding valve is usually connected via a ball lock post making them suitable for use with kegs and uni tanks that support ball lock posts. However some manufacturers have gone a different route with proprietary fittings. Naturally you should avoid these unless you have the equipment they support and really the smart money is to spend on one that can be used for multiple purposes. Setting these to the desired pressure level is a very simple process that usually involves a simple screw valve. These are usually accompanied by a pressure gauge so that you know where the pressure is and the adjustments that are needed. I would suggest that you connect the sponding valve to a vessel that has around the pressure level that you would like for fast setup before you use it for fermentation pressure control. This can be as simple as to a keg with a CO2 regulator set to the desired value or a unitank that is being pressure tested before water is added. It's always a good idea to do this to avoid any issues later on. Naturally if you plan to pressurise the unitank using CO2 before fermentation then this is also an appropriate time to set your sponding valve also, so plenty of options here. If this sounds really simple then that's really because it is, but ensuring your yeast is not put under more than the optimal pressure is key to a successful pressure fermentation, and because of this the sponding valve is an essential item within any pressure fermentation setup. But before you simply go out and grab a sponding valve at random it is important to be aware that there are actually two different types out there, and they are definitely not equal. So let me explain these now. The first and probably the most common type seen for homebrew use is the spring and poppet pressure release type. The way these work is that you turn pressure onto a spring that creates resistance to the poppet. When the pressure limit is reached then the poppet will open should more pressure arrive and allow more pressure release. The issues with this type of design is that the opening and closing pressures are needing to be quite far apart for it to actually work essentially meaning that you have areas of pressure that are now blind. This design is also ineffective at low pressures and the internal o-ring sealing is made within a very small surface area and tends to change over time due to the very cheap material usually used leading to further inaccuracy at regular pressures also. And as if this wasn't enough this design also allows the entry of wart matter to enter it in the sealing area which can lead to further problems often of the sticky kind and this alone can render these into a useless state. So for all these reasons this style of design is prone to inaccuracy, pressure leaking and also frustration. I've been testing a brand new one very commonly available of this design and found that it presented these problems very quickly and it required constant readjustment to keep my pressure fermentations at the level desired. If I was to choose one word to describe these then it would have to be annoying. The other type of pressure release valve is known as a diaphragm. The diaphragm style of sponding valves also work using a spring to hold resistance, but the capital difference is that they do so using sealing that has a much wider surface area, which is the diaphragm itself. Thankfully this allows the sealing to be far more precise and makes them suitable for controlling pressure in a wide array of applications from low pressure to high. For this reason this design is widely used for regulation and release of pressure for many different types of products and applications where fine control is needed. I have been testing this type of sponding valve and found that it was much easier to dial in to the pressure I want and just forget about it. The type of diaphragm sponding valve that I have been using is known as the blow tie. They are not expensive and I have a couple of these for convenience. 
One of these you will have seen me using in a recent video for regulating pressure during a closed root transfer. Used in this way it allows you to finally control the transfer rate to avoid issues with foaming in your transferred beer. I have also bought the blow tie spunding valve kit which you can see centre screen here. This kit includes everything you need for precise pressure fermentation control. For more information about fermentation under pressure, if you have not seen it already, then please consult my guide that can be seen on screen now. If you would like to discuss this topic or anything else beer related, then why not join this channel's Facebook group. This now brings this video to a close. If you have any questions, then please let me know via YouTube or Facebook. I do hope that you found this video to be useful, interesting and enjoyable. If appropriate, then please like this video on YouTube, and if you have not done so already, then please subscribe. I regularly post new content. Happy brewing!